Okay, today I'm going to make a very short video uh, about this question. Yeah, this is one of the question in my Facebook page. Alright, so in this question, you're going to see, see that he said the diagram below show the conical container filled with water. The base of the cone lies on the horizontal table. So make sure here is a horizontal. Alright, the volume of the water is uh, 821 and 1 over 3 cm cube all right and then he asks you use the pi is 22 over uh it's 22 over 7 all right and then he asks you calculate the height calculate the height of the water in the container so basically he want use to uh find this height all right so before you want to find this height what you need to understand is how are you going to get the volume because this is the volume uh, of the water inside this conical container all right so in order to get the volume okay and I know something is I can use the like big con I minus this small con and then I can get the remainder volume isn't it so I just use the big con minus the small con so I roughly uh, pre-draw the the con over here so you can see the VEF is this one VEF and VHG is the VHG so of course we have to understand what is the uh, formula for con formula for con con will be a uh, formula for volume of the con will be 1 over 3 pi r square h this is the vo volume of con all right so in this bigger con in this bigger con, we have to know what is the R for the bigger con. So, the radius is over here, isn't it? So, obviously, it gives us the radius is A. So, this one is given, is A. And then the height, actually, we do not know what is the height for this one, isn't it? So, I'm going to call it H. Alright, for the small smaller con, the, the R is given, is 4. And then the H is not given also. Alright, so... So, we want to do something is, first, we have to know this one is the, uh, both of these one actually is a similar triangle. So, they are the similar triangle. You have to use the similar triangle methods to like, uh, roughly find out the H. So, since these two is a similar triangle, so I'm going to draw out the similar triangle. Why I know it's similar triangle? Because both of them will have the same angle for all of this. This one is 90 degree, right? This is A, this is 4, alright, and then this is V, alright, so we, we know both of them actually share the same V angle, so if they share the same V angle, that means this two is a similar triangle, so what I know is, if here I call it H1, if this is H1, the H actually will be double of the H1 because of their length. This is 4, this is 8, isn't it? So if this one is if this one is H, this one will be 2. Is if this one is H1, this one will be double of the H1. Alright, so this is some basic I idea of it. Okay, if you understand, let me move on. So so I'm going to call okay, this one become 2H1. Alright, make it simple and then you can easily remember. I call it 2H1. Alright, so now I if I got everything in H1, then I can start to do about this one. Okay, so I use the bigger con minus a smaller con, and then I will equal to 821. So what I do is the bigger con is 1 over 3, pi is given 22 over 7, and then r is given 8 square, and then h h is given, h is the 2H1. And then I minus the smaller triangle, a smaller con, 1 over 3, pi. And then r is given, 4 square. And then h is given, h1. Alright, because the, the height for the bigger con will be 2h1. Because I, I explained here, it's the double of this one. Alright, so it equals to 821 and 1 over 3 cm cube. So you solve this one, you can easily get the... Uh, total height and then we use the total height to minor this one then I can actually got this height doesn't it all right so I, I, I'm going to solve this one very fast so uh, okay let me continue over here okay I'm going to write over here so I just use the calculator to solve this one 
All right, this is 22 over 7, multiple 1 over 3, and then multiple 64. All right, and then multiple is 2H. Okay, so basically, my calculator tell me that I've got 2816 over 21 H1. All right, minus this one. This is 22 over 7, multiple 1 over 3, multiple 16. So this one, I actually will get 352 over 21 H1. Then I've got the 82 one and one over three all right so i just simply do the amount um so i will going to use two eight one six over twenty one minus minus the three five two over twenty one then i will got three five two over three h one then we equals to eight two one one over three all right, then I move this one to the other side. Okay, then I will move this one to the other side. Okay, let me scroll down a bit, a little bit. All right, so I move this one to the other side. So this one actually is H1. Oh, why I write the one over here? This is H1 equals to 8, 2, 1, 1 over 3. And then multiple 3 over three five two of course if you're not sure how to do this one you can change it to the uh improper fraction so if you change it to the improper fraction this one actually will equals to two four six four over three and then multiple three over three five two and then obviously you know you can simplify or you can straight away press the calculator so if you press the calculator you got the answer equal to 7 so now if if you got the h1 equal to 7 okay so of course you have to understand when the h1 over here this is h1 then it equals to 7 and then the total length from here to here actually is h2 isn't it so in order to get the calculate the height of the water of the container we know we're going to use the h2 minus H1, which is H2 is double of H1, isn't it? So this is 14 minus 7. So the answer for the water will be, so the answer for this one will be 7. That's all. All right, so I just summarize over here. So, so height of the water, so will equals to H2 minus H1, which is 14 minus 7, which is equal to 7 centimeter. Right. I hope my answer is correct. Anyways, thanks for watching.